We come back from break. A view of this afternoon's meteor. A viewer captured her on their front porch camera in Johns Creek, Georgia. One of several meteor sightings caught on camera today. Maggie Fitzgerald sat down with an astronomy professor to learn more about what people witnessed across the southeast today. Yeah, Frank, I spoke with many people today who saw that glimpse of that ball of fire you see, but only a few were able to capture it on camera. While many people were caught off guard by that midday sighting, Professor Matthew Marone, an astronomy expert here in central Georgia, shared his expertise on why a spotting like that is actually not that uncommon. I live out in the country, so at night I see shooting stars, so at night it really doesn't shock me or anything. It's a bird? It's a plane? Nope, it's a meteor. And for Josh Grant, it's something he wouldn't typically blink twice about. But seeing a fiery streak during the daytime, it caught him and hundreds of others a bit off guard. Didn't know what it was. Based on the world today, you never know. So that's why I, I thought it was interesting, but maybe be a once a lifetime video if it was a meteorite during the day. But a sighting like that isn't as rare as it may seem, according to Professor Matthew Marone. He teaches all things astronomy and physics at Mercer University. Not unusual for these kind of things to happen. I'm, I wouldn't be panicked about it. I would be excited to go out there and actually see if I can find a piece of it but I wouldn't be panicking about it. According to emergency management crews, a piece of that meteor, about an inch long, was found in Henry County on Thursday. Marone has his own meteorite collection and explains when meteors come in very fast, the frictional heating can make them incredibly bright. Any black is the fusion crust where the outer part of the rock had been melted. And again, we saw this thing being very, very bright, right? So it's very hot and incandescent. Pieces like this are often debris left behind from a comet. In this instance, Marone says, the Pons Winnicka Comet, which creates an annual meteor shower during orbit this time of year. The peak of that meteor shower is tomorrow, and it's the boated meteor shower. I think it'd be nice to go out and actually watch the, the meteor shower itself. And that's the biggest takeaway. As Marone mentioned, there is no need to panic, Frank. And keep your eyes out for some more possible sightings. Back to you. Oh, a really neat sight, though. All right, thanks very much, Maggie. Uh, now, the voted meteor shower that Professor Marone told Maggie about is happening right now. It runs from the 22nd through July 2nd. Publication in the sky says you're supposed to see more shooting stars on June 27th, which I believe is tomorrow. So keep a lookout tonight and tomorrow. The meteor shower happens every six years when dust and debris leave a comet that's passing near the Earth and orbiting the Sun. Mike Hankey explains the type of meteor that most folks saw today. Moon, and when we get brighter than that, especially when it explodes in this terminal flash and it's accompanied with the sonic booms and the meteorites, those are called bolides. And that just means that the body broke apart uh, in its flight 